In the peaceful village of the rats, King Hezrin had ruled wisely for years, ensuring no predator could breach their walls. Life had been good under his leadership, but one fateful day, their defenses fell to a cunning enemy, the cat family, led by the ruthless John. The cats descended upon the rats, tearing through their ranks and devouring many. King Hezrin, witnessing the massacre, had no choice but to surrender. The once proud rats were enslaved, forced to work tirelessly with little food and water, any resistance punished by death and consumption, a gruesome reminder of the cat's cruelty. Among the enslaved rats, Jumba, Hezrin's fiery brother, was filled with rage at the cat's mistreatment. He urged Hezrin to fight back, claiming the rats' superior numbers could overwhelm the cats. But Hezrin, ever cautious, warned that brute force alone would lead to their ruin, the cats were too powerful. Jumba begrudgingly accepted his brother's decision, though his anger simmered beneath the surface. One day, while working under the blazing sun, one of the rats collapsed from exhaustion. Instead of helping, the cats pounced on the poor creature, tearing him apart in front of the others. Jumba, witnessing the horrific act, could no longer contain his fury. We want freedom, he shouted, rallying the other rats. They grabbed whatever they could sticks, stones, anything to fight back. But despite their numbers, the cats were too strong, their claws and teeth cutting through the rats with ease. The rebellion was crushed, and in its wake, the suffering of the rats only deepened. Food became a rarity, and water was allowed once every three days. Hezrin, seeing his people on the brink of despair, knew something had to be done. He summoned his sorcerer, who concocted a deadly poison. The rats worked near the cat's well, and Hezrin devised a plan. One day, during their labor, a rat fell, creating a distraction. Seizing the opportunity, Hezrin slipped the poison into the well, knowing the rats wouldn't be drinking that day. By evening, the cats began to drop, one by one, their deaths seemingly certain. As night fell, the rats gathered the bodies, ready to burn them and finally claim their freedom. But just as they were about to light the fire, the cats stirred, coming back to life. John, their leader, sneered. We've got nine lives, you fools. Panic spread among the rats as they fled for their lives, but the cats gave chase. John pursued Hezrin, who scrambled up a nearby citric tree in terror. To his surprise, John halted and retreated, unable to get closer. Confused, Hezrin looked around and noticed a citric leaf stuck to his fur. Realization donned cats were repelled by the smell of citrus. Armed with this new knowledge, Hezrin hurried to where his brother Jumba was tied up, about to be executed as an example. With the citric leaf in hand, Hezrin approached, and the cats sneezed violently, their faces swelling and turning red, giving the brothers a clear path. Hezrin freed Jumba, and together they walked out, heads held high. The next day, Hezrin and Jumba gathered citric leaves, placing them in the well and the food supply. Starving and thirsty, the cats had no choice but to flee the village, leaving the rats victorious at last.